Hey guys, this video is going to be a hair review. First of all, I apologize for the weird lighting background. I am moving and I had to reposition myself to a different area of my makeup room because I just sold my vanity. I also have two stands of storage for sale. If anyone is interested, if you're not in the Baton Rouge area, you have to pay for shipping of course. But if you're interested in that, a link to a blog post will be down below if you're interested in buying that for me. Honestly, I'll take whatever you offer plus shipping because I'm trying to get rid of it and I'm getting new makeup furniture built custom so that's why I'm trying to get rid of this. I'm not going to use it anymore. That's my, my, this is my current background for the time being until I move which is going to be a month from now. Moving November 15th. Well, I still have some videos to upload before then, a bunch. So you might not actually see my new setup until maybe December or January unless I upload a few here and there. But I'm talking way too much. This review is Virgin Natural Wave Malaysian Human Hair. And it is the bundled hair, but I did make clip-ins. A good thing about this video is that I show you how to make them, or how I make them, how I made them. Just because it's bundled hair does not mean you can't wear them as clip-ins. As y'all know, I do not wear sew-ins for my own reasons. I don't like scratching. I don't like anything tight to my scalp because I like to get in there and scratch because my scalp always itches. With clip-ins, it's a little easier. I can take my finger and go in there. It's actually itching right now. My scalp always itches no matter if I wear weave. My hair natural. If I relax my hair, it does not matter. It itches. Don't know why. If you guys have a solution to that, let me know in the comments. This is the second day I've had this hair in. I will insert a picture of where I first got it done by my, by my hairstylist. I did get her to blend it for me because I wasn't familiar with this hair texture and I really wanted it to come out right. Basically, all she did was flutter in my hair with a flat iron like really straight in my own my own hair of course and she curled it with the flat iron in small curls and then she inserted the clip-ins in random areas of my hair and then she just took her fingers and like pulled the curls out and just kind of you know barely finger comb it you don't want to comb it too much otherwise it'll end up frizzy my own I mean, my hair is not frizzy right now but if you try to comb this hair or brush it it will frizz it will tangle I mean, it tangles a little bit, not too much. I love this hair texture because it's so soft. It's so soft. Like, it's unlike any other hair texture I've ever had. The reason I chose bundled hair this time, rather than, you know, the typical Brazilian, anything like that, I want to try a different hair texture. I've always wanted to try a Malaysian. Next on my list is Peruvian. So hopefully they offer me an opportunity to try that hair so I can see, you know, the difference in that and I love the wavy texture this hair is so easy when I work out like y'all know I work out I'm into fitness and stuff like that or I've been getting into it since my boyfriend is a personal trainer if you guys are interested in his services and you're in the Baton Rouge area I'll link his info down below and you can either contact me or him through his email as y'all know I've been getting into fitness lately and it's so hard for me to keep a decent hairstyle without having to wash my hair two three times a week with this all I do Whenever I get ready to work out, I separate my hair into sections and I braid it really, really, really tight with my hair. I braid the hair and my hair together. And total, I have like seven braids. Um, just let me know if you guys are interested in that. It's really, really simple. I mean, I don't even do perfect braids. They're really just regular braids. And I just blow dry it whenever I'm done working out. Also, when I go to sleep, I braid it as well and I put a satin cap on it just to keep it from getting frizzy and to keep it with the natural wave like so. I love how you can pull it apart and make it bouncier and make it bigger. Now as far as the hair that I chose they did send me two bundles of 24 inches and inches and one bundle of 16. That's a lot of hair. I only use like this is not my dog. I don't own a dog yet. I do want one though. Someone else is dog next door. But um I use, I would say, like, nine-tenths of the hair. I only have a few strands left. I tried to use as much as I could because I have really thick hair and I really wanted my hair to be kind of big and voluminous but not extremely crazy. So, all you need for this tutorial are a few items. You'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need some hair weaving thread, which you can find at your local beauty supply store. I'll show you the items so you don't think I'm crazy for just telling y'all what y'all need. <laughs> can't find my hair weaving needle. I'm scared to look for it because it is very, very pointy and dangerous. 
But basically you need a pair of sharp scissors to cut your webs to make sure that you don't have any excess shedding or anything like that. You also need, also all these items I'm telling you can be found at your local beauty supply store. You also need weft sealer, which is this little bottle right here. I got clear, just in case I get different colored hair extensions. Hair weaving thread. And also a curved needle. I find that a curved needle is easier to use because it's curved, so it allows you to get into the holes a lot easier in and out. And you'll see that when I actually do a tutorial on there. So, without further ado, stay tuned for my clip-in tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the next one. I made that one pretty long, so I'm gonna make this one, I guess, the same length. I'm gonna try to. So again, you wanna find the little gap and clip it there. Grab your weft sealer and paint. So for obvious reasons, I'm not going to stay on camera and do the entire bundle, the entire set. So once I'm done clipping and cutting and wefting and sealing, I will return and show you the next step. So I'm done with cutting the wefts, the bundles. Now I'm ready to put on my clips, which is the final step. I'm going to take the first one I did because it's dry all the way now. Should be at least. And this one is medium length. I think I'm going to do three clips on this one. Maybe. So it really doesn't matter what size you put it on, it really doesn't. So basically what you want to do is just take the clip, hold on, let me see how it open. You want to make sure to go on the same side, so that's what I recommend doing first. Just make sure, I'm going to be putting them on the underside, so you want to flip them. I mean, it's, you kind of have to kind of think about it. So I'm going to flip them all in one direction so I don't get confused. Alright, so I have them all spread out. I'm going to take my first clip. I'm sewing it to the back because that's where it's supposed to be. So when you open it, you can clip it into your own hair. I snap it shut. So I'm going to go ahead and thread my needle first. Taking my weaving needle. And of course you want to make a loop. You can make it pretty long if you have a lot of hair to do like I do. So, of course you want to double knot it. This is basic sewing, so if you don't have down pat, then you might not want to do this. So you should have a double threaded needle like this, and you want to take the ends and tie them into a knot so that they don't come undone. Like that. One knot should be sufficient. That should be sufficient. I've done it several times. Just going to go ahead and knot it again so that the thread doesn't unravel. And of course, after you finish each clip, you want to re-knot your thread or your needle so that, you know, for obvious reasons.
Once you're done, you should have clips that look like this with clips on both ends and they should be very tight. I'm going to continue with the rest of my clip ends and I'll return at the end and show you what they look like clipped end. So, this is the hair. Well blended. That's what it looks like at the back. So it was very thick and voluminous both at the front and back. Well, now it is. <laughs> As you can see, you really can't tell the difference between my hair and the extensions. They blend really well. Later on, I'm going to try to do a tutorial where I actually show you how to curl a hair to blend in with this type of hair or the hair texture. Just comment below and let me know if you're interested in that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please check the link below on where you can get this hair. It's awesome. Minimal shedding. It's really soft. No odor. No odor at all. Um, very soft hair texture. Blends well with relaxed hair. My hair is relaxed. Natural hair, I'm pretty sure it would too because all you have to do is flat iron it, curl it, and just blend it with your fingers. So yeah. I'm just imagining all the different hair looks I can do with this hair. I'm so excited. I will talk to all of you in my next video. Thank you for watching.